Hello, my name is Andrew, and in this video, we're going to talk about fishing in the Burning Crusade Classic. We'll be going over how to more effectively fish while you're AFK, and later, we'll see what riches await you on your journey to maxed out fishing. Let's have a look at one of the methods that I use to make the grind from 1 to 375 fishing a little bit easier. So, uh, here's my character. This is my main character that I have the fishing on. We can have a look at the fishing and see that it's all the way up to 375. I have my fishing ability bound to mouse wheel down. And crucially, in my keybinds, if I look at, I believe it's under targeting, interact with mouse over is a keybind that you can bind to whatever you want. I have it bound to mouse wheel up. So what this allows me to do is simply mouse wheel down to cast, and then when the fish you know, decides that it needs to be caught, you can simply mouse wheel up, and there you go. Now, the interesting thing about this is when you are alt-tabbed out of the game, when you're in uh, the windowed mode, you can be browsing the internet, doing whatever it is that you're doing, and when you have your mouse over the game section and hit the mouse wheel down, it still registers the, the key click on the game, thereby casting the thing. So you can go back to here, continue you know, watching your video about what Dark Shore Capital is, maybe click around, get caught up on old episodes of This Week in Gold Making. And whenever you hear that sound or see the bobber, you just simply mouse over it and mouse way up. Now, I, did, I didn't catch this one because I don't have a fishing lure applied at the moment, but then you just continue on your way. So I mentioned sound, and I know many people do uh, use sounds when they're fishing to indicate when they need to reel in their fish or whatever, what have you. There is an option under the sound settings and system that enables World of Warcraft sounds to play when it is not the main focus on your computer. So if you enable this, uh, you'll hear the sounds in the background, and you know when that fishing bobber starts splashing around, you'll hear it and be able to uh, quickly go and take care of your fish. A couple other things uh, just to talk about when it comes to fishing. So you can create a macro that will automatically apply, apply a lure to your fishing rod. Uh, you just simply do use the name of the lure that you want to use and then slash use 16, which is the number slot for your weapon. Uh, and then using this macro, which I currently have bound to shift mouse wheel down, will apply an aquadynamic fish attractor to your fishing pole. Uh, one unfortunate thing that I discovered is when you are doing the, the clever alt tab method, uh, let me actually just get this thing back up so you can see. When you're doing the alt tab method, um, shift modifiers don't seem to work. So I'm currently holding down shift and mouse wheel down and I'm still just casting the line as opposed to applying the lure. Um, so it seems that the only two buttons that will work uh, when it comes to doing this alt tab method, our mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up. And for my money, I think that uh, using those two for casting and interacting are probably the two most effective uh, uses of those keybinds. And I guess the last thing that I can think of uh, that you may be interested in for doing this technique is I prefer to have my, my game area on the right side of the screen or really whatever side of the screen you have your mini map. Uh, that way, if you have uh, fish tracking on, uh, you can see the, the nodes pop up for any uh, fishing pools, which will allow you to, of course, you know, tap back in and mount up and ride over to wherever the, uh, the fish pools may be. Because, yeah, as it turns out, uh, the fishing pools are the most effective place to be making gold uh, when it comes to doing this, this fishing stuff. You get just more of the, the vendor fish and uh, the scroll cases and all the other things that are just more valuable out of the fishing pool. All right, and so now that we've gone over how to best get your fishing from 1 to 375 with this one crazy technique. We're gonna actually take a look at what fish I got on my journey from 1 to 375 and how much gold it wound up making. So let's have a look at what we got from leveling fishing all the way from 1 to 375. So I have here on, this is just a level one character that I am using to hold everything. And as you can see, here's all of the fish. I pretty much just followed the, the WoW Professions guide for where to fish and uh, didn't really try to optimize too much for, for gold value. This is more of just an experiment to see, like if you're trying to go as fast as possible, you know, can you actually expect to make any kind of money? So over here on the spreadsheet, I have everything typed in with the counts. And um, as you can see, 
Yeah, some of this stuff isn't really worth a whole ton. In fact, the entirety of vanilla is worth 42 gold, and the 61 golden darters that I got in Outland completely outvalued that. So, yeah, the vanilla leveling, if you go for the fastest stuff, you're not going to be expecting to make a whole bunch of gold. We got almost 90 gold of value from doing 300 to 375 in Outland. Again, this could probably be optimized much better if you want to go for things that are more valuable, such as the golden darters, the icy blue fins. Those are kind of the two biggest value things. Um, I wouldn't really look too much at these guys down here. These are sort of the novelty items. Yeah, for a total of 131 gold, that's uh, yeah, that's the number I've, I've come to based on just this is auction house region market value. So for my service, this is actually going to be a little bit lower because, uh, like for example, if we take a look at the icy uh, blue fins, they're, the region market average is 91 silver, whereas the current market value on Paggle is 62 silver. Uh, quick side note. We are on the Paggle server, which means uh, yeah, I had to do the fishing, right? Like, come on. Okay, and then a couple things I did actually want to do while we're here is open up all these boxes since, you know, we've got them. Let's take a look and see what's in them and maybe, maybe we'll get a little bit more gold out of it uh, in the end. So we're just going to do it. We're just going to send it and we have to close the bank in order for this to work. Anything good? White smoke flares, uh, not super valuable, but very cool. Fell iron ore, actually some decent value there. 50 silver. Got some elemental blasting powder. That's pretty good too. All right, yeah. So those uh, the things that you get from fishing in Zanger marsh pools, the, the just random debris. Those are actually pretty worthwhile. So not hide scraps, uh, not too valuable. More not hide scraps. Literally one nether weave cloth. You'll love to see it. The inscribed soul cases. Now that, three scrolls of agility, that's what we like to see because these, I mean, that's that's almost 10 gold just right there. So pretty big deal. Uh, 50 silver for a scroll of intellect. Uh, so that's all the outland stuff. Again, these, these three down here are going to be things that I fished up in vanilla. So the sturdy locked chest, uh, just a vendor gray, not worth anything. Iron strut, that's an engineering piece, not worth too much, and then some bronze framework. So uh, let me go ahead and get these things added into the calculation as well, just to see, and uh, yeah, if it actually makes anything better. All right, so I went ahead and added in the values for the things that came out of the boxes. That's this row right here. And yeah, we're actually, we're up a little bit. So um, another extra gold from the vanilla stuff, and then a pretty nice uh, extra little bit here from all the outland stuff. Uh, looks like another 19 gold, roughly, in value. So, yeah, brings the total up to 152. I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, you know, I have been doing some fishing since then, just at max level, trying to do some, uh, get some more gold. So overall, I'm pretty happy with, with doing the fishing thing. Like, as you can see here, I've got, you know, some uh, icy bluefin on my mage in the bank, ready to be crafted into, uh, this This turns into spell power food for, for max level stuff. So that's why I've got a decent amount of that. I will make this spreadsheet available in case you'd like to have a closer look. My plans for these fish involve cooking most of them uh, to help with taking cooking from 1 all the way to 375. More on that in a future video. We're going to wrap this one up on fishing here. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time when we tackle cooking.